Hey guys, so I figured I would do a video on some makeup products that I have gotten um, recently, my thoughts and opinions, and just really just talk about them and um, whether I think that they are quote unquote worth the hype. So, we're going to start with um, this, some face products, and I really, okay, the first one. And I am pretty ashamed to show you this because it is pretty dirty. It is pretty gross. It is pretty disgusting. I, I use it on a daily basis. The Makeup, the Real Techniques um, Makeup Sponge. Mine is pretty, pretty dirty. Do I think that it is worth it? No. No. Because here's why. I feel like that I can't. Yes, my hands are dirty. Yes, my hands, like, I, there's such thing, there's a thing called hand sanitizer. There's a thing called, you know, soap and water. You clean your hands. Da, 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 da. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. But what I think is that you can get in a better, um, I mean, this is good for, like, around your nose, things like that. But I feel like you can get a much better application with either a brush or your hands. Um, yes, I mean, it's nice to have because you are being sanitary, you are being, you're not, you're not cross-contaminating, you're not getting those germs from your hands to your face and you're not breaking out. Like, I get that, okay? Um, but it's just a matter of, uh, there's no way in hell that I would spend the 20 bucks on a beauty blender. Now, the only reason why I tried this, I tried it, and I had two of them, okay, because I am not going to spend, like, nine bucks on a sponge, like, no, that's ridiculous um but it was a two pack so two of these real technique sponges um for the price of one and it was it comes like in a value pack you know whatever um i got mine at walmart i got it i tried it whatever you purchased it i mean maybe but even still I, i'm not too keen on it like i'm not sold that this is the perfect way for me, when I first got it, I was like, yes, I'm trying it out. I like it. It works. Mm, here recently, I'm not too fond of it. Um, have I found something that I, that's going to replace it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I have some things. Like, okay, like I could use, I could use the this uh, Real Techniques Buffing Sponge. Like, I could use that. Um, I have this one, which I did use. And although this is not the perfect brush for it, this is the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. Like, I mean, it does get the job of it. But this is more for your contour, hence the reason why it's contour brush. But I feel like, yeah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, you know, I feel like maybe I will go out and purchase a stippling brush from Real Techniques. Because I heard that stippling brushes are good for that kind of thing, for foundation. But, do I think that this is worth that? No. Okay, so the next thing is I got, I just got this yesterday. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Press Powder. And I got mine in the color um, Warm White. 182E Warm White. And it looks like this. It's kind of, it's not like a bait product. But, you know, it's a powder. It's nice. And I got this because I have been using my e.l.f. Uh, the Perfect Finish HD Powder. Well, this is a white powder, so what is it going to do? It's, it's kind of going to give you that kind of white, white cast. Do I like it? I do like the e.l.f. one. But uh, sometimes you, you have to be super, super careful. Because if you use too much... You're going to look like a ghost. And I don't want to look like a ghost. Okay? Like, that's just not my style. It's, it's not something that I don't want to personally do. So, I have that. So, I got this yesterday. And I did use it. I did use it today. No, I'm not wearing makeup. I already did my mask. And I have to say, I like it a lot. I like how smooth it is. And I like just how airbrushed it feels. It does give me a little bit of coverage. Not too much. But it does give me coverage. It blends out whatever the hell this sponge does. Um, but it does help and it does work. So I personally really like it. The other thing. This. I don't know. 
And it's one of those products where I feel like, am I the only one that feels this way? Maybe I just got a wrong color. I got the White n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. And I got this because I'd watched a video and everybody's like, oh, this is such a good color. Like, I have to admit, it feels pretty good. But on my skin tone, can you see? You can kind of see where that I feel like this is so much more of a highlight than it is a blush. So did I waste some money? Probably. It's a $2.99 blush. I'm now, I'll give it another go, but it's one of those things. I just, I'm not super crazy about it. Okay. Another product which I have never seen talked about, talked about here on YouTube. But it is the e.l.f. Bait Bronzer. And this is in the color Maui. And I personally really like it. So what I do is I put on my I put on my primer. And if I'm going to wear a foundation, I put on my foundation. And then I put on my concealer. And then I put on my powder. And then I put on my bronzer. And because of my complexion and because of the fact that it is a bait bronzer, I take this. And what I do is I take the Real Techniques. This is a stippling brush. Looks like this. This is a really stiff one, kind of. So I pick it up and I just go all over the face. And it gives me a really nice all over glow. It feels really good. And, but as you can see, it looks like I've been using this what feels like forever. And, <laughs> it's like I haven't even made it a dent. But I did order some stuff from Holt. Holt Hot look and um, I got the Park Avenue Princess and uh, like a highlighter thing so I'm pretty excited about that um, but you know I do like it do I think it's worth it yes but it's the only one I've ever tried so of course I'm gonna think it's worth it because it's all I've ever tried and I've never ex ex haven't expanded my horizons or whatever but you know whatever okay so, some other things. Um, the matte, this is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. Now, I heard some people that they really didn't like it. This is the brush. This is what it looks like. I like this. The thinness, it, okay, it's not super thin, it's not like the CoverGirl Supervisor, but the way that it looks and the way that it works kind of reminds me of that. And I have to say, I like it. Now, this is a whole lot cheaper than the other one that I have. And do I think that it's worth it? No, I don't. I really don't. I do not. Okay, I do like it. Would I repurchase it? Yes. But it's nothing to write home about. Like, it's nothing that I'm going to go be like, yippity doo da zippity -doo. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not. I do like, however, that the curve that it has. So, I do like that. But... I don't know. And plus, it's not cruelty free. Am I all cruelty free? No. But I would like to explore that option. Like, I would like to. I know Elf is. I know Wet n Wild is. So, I mean, then those are my options. Like, I would like to, you know, NYX is. Try to. I want to dabble more into NYX. The only thing that I've really tried from NYX is, is um. Lip products. And I'm not a huge lip product person. Like, I'll be the first to admit. Um, but I do really think that this is worth the hype. So, okay. Um, another thing that I don't, okay, this right here. If you've been watching YouTube for any amount of time, you have heard about this little single eyeshadow. This is the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Single Eyeshadow. I freaking love this. When I want to do a one, like, a, okay, I have a three shadow look. I have a two shadow look. Well, three. Yeah, it's a three. No matter what, I am. Uh, this is probably my base color. No matter what makeup look I'm doing. Up until I buy a couple palettes, which I will be talking about in a minute. I'm going to talk about this last. I do like it. Um, depends on what brush you use. Depends on the primer you use. Sometimes it can look a little... Like powder, like today, like you really can't see, but today, like it, it, it just didn't look all that great, so I just wiped it off with my hands. Now I don't hear. I only heard about one person that mentioned this brand. This is the Luna Beauty 
Luna by Luna eyeshadow, and this is in the color Jace. This is the most gorgeous peachy color in the world. Now, I don't like how, like, it, it's kind of feeling, like, crumbly a little bit, and I have, like, kind of, it has made, like, a little divot or whatever. It is really pretty. You can, this, this would be perfect for fall, just a lot of fall looks, which I'm really excited about, which I will be doing tons of top fall tutorials, of course. Um, but I feel like, you know... I really just, I really like this color, and I do think that, I, but I don't know where to purchase it, so that's the kind of thing. Now, the one person I did hear was Jam Beauty 89 or Jessica Braun, and she talked about a, um, like a highlight, but I, I got this in my last Ipsy, but now I have the Sephora play, which I can do tons of unboxings for. That's exciting. Okay, some other products, some lip products, okay, another eye product that I personally think is death. Definitely worth the hype. This is the It Cosmetic Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Sorry, I'm like stretching up my leg here. I love this. I, uh, probably, oh gosh, oh my gosh, this is probably not the best position for me to be sitting in, but I have to because my knee is like killing me. Um, the doctor said I have a torn ACL. Totally off topic. Another one, which I think that you do need to go out and get, if they have minis, I want to get them. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude and Swag. This is a matte. Just wait till you see this color. And it smells so good. Can you, are you serious? The most beautiful, and it's Moosey. Just drop my brushes. It is moosey. It feels good. I mean, probably even tastes good. And I love the color. It's just like a perfect everyday color. I like it. Would I repurchase it? Yes, I would. But I got this in my first of four play box and I was like, oh, yes. Okay. Another product which I do think is worth the height. Well, there's three. This video is all over the place. There are three concealers that I do think are worth the hype. Now, if you can get them, I don't know. These two, I know that you can get the other one. I'm not sure, so I'm, I'm still going to mention it, but anyway. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Revine Dark Circle Treatment Concealer, and this is in the neutralizer shade. This is a yellowy one, and it's the one where you have to twist it up and it comes out. This I use for under my eyes, and I do like it. Um, it is, I mean, I have used a lot of it. It is getting to the point where it kind of smells a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to use it up, and then I would repurchase it for sure. The next one is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I use this as, like, a spot concealer, and I also use this, um, after I put on, like, either the one I'm going to show you next or the, um, Maybelline one, and just to make it more, like, skin tone-like and not as, like, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of tones it down a little bit. So I do like it. It comes in a doe foot applicator. I really like it. My favorite was the Revlon Color Stay, and it was like the blemish concealer, and I really liked it. This is the CoverGirl in LA the De Puffer Eye Concealer. This is in 330 White Pale. And I like this because I do have this horrendous under eyes. But it has this little metal thing. And it's very cooling. Sorry, I got some on there. But it's very cooling. And it smells super good. So I really like it. Would I repurchase this in an instant? So I really like that. I would repurchase it. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure that you can. Okay. So a few more products. And then we are done. A foundation that I totally think it's worth the hype. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Shell Ivory. This is how it comes. It's in this paddle kind of thing. Okay. I personally would not like use that sponge, but I do have a brush. This is the Real Techniques the Luxe Crease Brush, but I use it for like foundation and it really...
Look at that. Like, it's really covered. It's really pretty. It's, I really like it. So I would definitely repurchase that. It's just, it gives great full coverage. Um, I do like a lot of wet wall products. Okay. The last thing. Well, should I do a separate skincare? I'm going to do a separate skincare video. I'm insane. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is what it looks like. It's a very neutral pa uh, palette with some peaches, not a whole lot. I love the colors in this. It is absolutely stunning. Like this luscious. I'm going to swatch just a few. Uh, if you want me to do a um, review on it, I will, but there's tons of them. Um, but I will do one if you want me to. Then this, this caramelized one. Sorry, I'm just like, being very... And then, what's another one that we can do? Bagini. Bagini. We gotta do a darker one. Let's do... Let's do Peach Pit. Like, look at that. That is, like, some serious pigmentation right there. I love it. The only thing I don't like is how strongly scented it is. It's it's very, very strongly scented of peaches. So if you're very sensitive to things like that, I wouldn't get it. Um, but I did want it. Even when it first came out, I did want it. And I'm like so happy that I did get it. It's like, yes. So. Oh. Okay. So the next palette, which you did see. This is the Too Faced, the chocolate bar. Now, originally they said it was like a little bit bigger than this. I got this a couple weeks ago. This one smells like chocolate. It is so good. Like this purple shade is a little bit patchy. So, I mean, but it is really pretty. Uh, black Forest Truffle. That's really pretty. Um, cory cherry cordial. That'll be really pretty. Um, let's see, creme de lay. Oh my gosh, I gotta use that more. Um, Mars of Han. That's really really pretty. Hazelnut. Uh, champagne truffle. It's like a highlighter shade for me. And then white chocolate. Sorry. It's, but I do think those are worth it. Um, they are $49 a piece. Um, but you can get them like on sale when... I guess when Sephora has their 20% off or whatever, do I think they're worth it? Yes, but I repurchased them in a heartbeat. Um, I did get a tart one, but I do want the Naturally Pretty palette. So I'm kind of like, kind of trying to hold off on that, but I will, in September I'm getting it for sure. Like I'm not, I'm just going to go ahead and get it like I don't care. Alright, thanks guys. So that is my uh, products that I do think is worth the hype. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if any video requests, comments, concerns, if anything like that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.